Good morning, traders. I'm going to be sharing this video with Weeble Tech Support as well as posting this on my YouTube channel. Today is June 14th. It's 10.31 a.m. Eastern Time right now. This video you're looking at was recorded right around 9.33 a.m. And uh, this this was capturing a candlestick glitch on Weeble. I've been trading with Weeble now since 2020, around May, so about 13 months now. And this has been an ongoing issue with Weeble, no matter what version that I use, Weeble 3, 4, or 5, all the desktop versions. And they all have the current updates. This is the version 5.0.6. So let's take a look at the chart right now. This is ORPH. Watch this candle that's forming right now. You're going to see the price jump up up to uh, above this yellow line at some point and then you're going to see that information disappear and the candle continuously gets smaller and eventually is just a flat line and then into the next candle it pops back up and shows the information so that's a major issue because a lot of us use these candlesticks to trigger our entries and that's what happened to me today uh, luckily I'm only test trading with one single share so it wasn't a huge loss money wise but it's still impossible to day trade using candlesticks when they're not uh, showing properly so here here it is at its peak um, it's up around 1230 maybe 1228 was the was the high and now you're going to see the top of the candle start to fall away it kind of just disappear now I'm not there so I'm not talking about the price action moving but notice the wick is now shorter than it was before it's going to get even shorter keep watching there now the wick has disappeared as if the price was never up in this area and it was and now you're going to see the whole wick and the candle look at that that's all it's showing right now even though there was a lot of trading now here I refresh the chart and now it's just showing me a flat line so that's pretty much useless because the price was all the way up around 1228 at this point I was I noticed the glitch it, that was obvious but I had assumed that the high was about 1216 and I uh, triggered my entry right here and uh, basically as I was triggering my entry the information came back you can see I'm gonna just back it up you can see when that candle reappeared now it's showing 1230 was the high it was already too late for me I'd already triggered my entry um, since I thought it broke the high, which was I thought was 1216, but obviously it was 1228. So now I'm stuck in this trade and just have to, um, you know, use put my stop loss in the appropriate place. I end up getting stopped out of this trade, and it shouldn't have been a trade to begin with because my strategy is to enter when this candle was broken, uh, meaning that this candle went higher than this one, and that didn't happen. So that was the first glitch. Let's fast forward to the second glitch. I'm sure there were many more that day, but I was only trading from um, 9.30 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So here's the next glitch on the same exact chart, ORPH. You're gonna see it break above this level. It's gonna go all the way to 12.74. There it goes, or maybe 12.73. And then look at that. All that information just disappeared. Now it's showing a high of like 12.60 or something, 12.68. This is going to also disappear, I believe. There, look at that. Just disappeared. Again, I refresh Weeble, nothing. All that information is gone. We don't know where the price was during that one minute candle. And it does come back eventually, just like it did earlier on ORPH. And again, this is there it goes. Now it comes back all of a sudden. So that's a serious issue because a lot of people are using these candlesticks to trigger their entries and exits. And if we don't have accurate information as to where the price is during those one minute candles, we can't trade properly. And some of us are going to be losing a lot of money in those trades. So that pretty much makes Weeble entirely useless for day trading if that continues and can't be fixed. So uh, this is now I'm talking to Weeble Tech Support. Please do everything in your power to fix this as soon as possible and get back to me and I will update all my subscribers on my YouTube channel with your response. And thank you for your consideration.